Hey what's up guys, in this video we are going to talk about function overriding in C++ programming. Function overriding is where the child class redefines the parent class function inside the child class. Like in example here, the child class is redefining the print function which is already defined in the parent class. And this is called the overriding of the function. Now the function overriding is used to provide additional functionality to the already defined parent function. Like in example, we can add some additional feature to the child class print function which is overridden from the parent class. Now there are few rules we need to follow and the rules are first of all the classes should have the parent child relationship. So in order to have the function overriding the two classes should have the parent and the child relationship between them. Now secondly the function name should be same. So the function name in the parent class should be same as in the child class. And to have the function overriding the number of parameter and the sequence of data type of the parameter should be same in both the parent class and the child class. Now in this example program we have one class called parent which has the member function called print and the function will print the string parent function and we have another class called child which is inheriting the property of the parent class and the child class is having the function called print which prints the string child function so both the parent class and the child class is having one function with the same name and the same number of parameter list. So the parent class print function is overridden by the child class print function. Now inside the main method if we create one object of the child class and then if we use the object and we call the print function then it is going to invoke the child version of the print function. So if we save and run the program and you can see the child version of the print function has been invoked. Now if we wanted to invoke the parent version of the print function then we can write c dot and then the parent class name and then scope resolution operator. And this way we are invoking the parent class print function with the use of the child class object. So if we just save and run the program and you can see we are invoking the parent class print function and also we can invoke the parent class print function from inside the child class print function so we have to write parent and then we have to use the scope resolution operator and then the name of the function and this way whenever we call the child version of the print function then from inside the child print function, the parent print function will also be invoked. So if we just save and run the program and you can see both the child print function and the parent print function has been invoked. And also we can create one parent class pointer ptr and we can assign this the a reference of the child class object and then we can use the pointer with the arrow operator and we can access the parent class print function so if we just save and run the program and you can see we have invoked the parent class print function so this is the way we can override the parent class function inside the child class so both of the classes has to have the parent child relationship and both of the functions has to have same number of parameter and also the sequence of data type of the parameter also has to be same and then we can provide one new definition inside the child class function and this is the way we can have function overriding in C++ programming. So hope you understand the concept. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.